Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you this card. I'll show you how I made this card. Uh, the story behind this card is my sister and I run a paper craft group um, in Brighton Sea and obviously can't be met due to what's going on. So we've been doing it on uh, WhatsApp. You know, making cards and showing each other what we're making on WhatsApp and of course we've got loads of cards so my sister put out on Facebook that if anybody wants us to send a loved one a card who they're missing and any message they want would send them one on their behalf so hence the hello and um, we've had the response has been great we've sent out between there's about 12, 16 of us and we've sent out about 20 odd cards so far so I'm getting ahead and making a few so this is one of them I actually made this in Purple Posy for somebody's gran who wanted a card sent to his gran and had already posted it before I could film it so I made this blue one and I'm going to make another one in Petal Pink, Rich Raspberry, that's all we use, Petal Pink and Rich, rich Raspberry, and that'll go on like that there. To use this obviously I use the, um, not that one, this one, Good Morning Magnolia stamp set with the big flower and the hello. So for this I've got a eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths card base scored at four and one eighth folded in half and burnished and I haven't burnished it I've got a piece of rich raspberry at four and one eighth by four and a half and a piece of white at four and one eighth by four. Is that four and a half? No, four and a quarter, sorry. Four and a quarter by four and one eighth. And this is four and one eighth by four. And that goes like that. I'm also going to use the water front stamp for the dot splatters. So, first of all, we will stamp the big flower. I've got that, and I need some Memento Black Ink. Ink it up. I want a scrap of paper as well, because on this one I cut the middle flower out and stuck it on top so how did I do this? It's got a big flower to hold. Just ink up the flower again and just stamp it. I don't want to get the pad dirty. I've just put that on there. So yeah, that'll do. Nice left. Get rid of that. And I've got a there goes my scissors. Scrap of um white for the hello. Hmm. That's not very 
it straight. That's it. Cut that down in a minute. I'll keep that out because we're going to need this stamp. And with our card base, we're going to stamp this along the bottom. Turn it round and do it again. And that is our stamping done. Let's get rich raspberry all over our fingers. Seasick cleaning my stamps on the table. Rattle the camera. That's nice clean stamps. Let's put them away. don't need that for now, I don't need that for now and that will sit on between the buttons like that. So now we've got to colour these in. So all right word of warning for you from um, the new catalog you cannot buy these pens in um, singles from the new catalog when we get the new catalog out hmm. that nib's gone on that way So what I've been using, or starting to use now, is some dark pens because when you replace your pens you're going to get one of each, whether you want one of each or not. And it always seems to be my lights that run out first. I know I re-ink mine, but um, the nibs go on them after a while, so you do have to replace them. I think I've only replaced three. And this one's on its way out. Mossy Meadow Light. I think all my mossy, all my dark ones are going. I mean, all my greens.
they're all keeping safe and well. Slowly coming out of lockdown. Here in the UK, today's the first day that you could actually go further afield to exercise and go out more than once a day. Well, normal people can. The elderly and those who are shielding can't. Right, um, crumb cake dark for the branch. Now then for the flower, um, I'm going to use petal pink. Now on this, what I did was I went round, oh, is this light or dark? Light. I just went round the edge of the outside flowers. So that if you were nosy enough to, or the recipient was nosy enough to look under the flower you're going to stick on top, they will see a bit of colour. Not much, but some. I mean, you can colour it all in if you want. Just a waste of pen. And on this one, I just went up from the bottom and um, where the folds are I covered coloured the folds all in there's four folds on each flower there's a fold and there's the fourth one Doing anything spectacular, just adding a bit of colour to the bottom of the petals. Don't want it to be straight because you don't find things straight in flowers anyway and then after picking my scissors up off the floor we're going to cut this flower out now I'm going to cut on the line hopefully
wonder if I've got any requests for cards today. I heard my phone ping earlier on. Just have to remember to check it afterwards. Right, and that will get stuck on top of there. Now, I am going to go around the edge with my black marker pen. I've got it, the back of the flower facing me, and I'm just going to go around the edge. Now, that's just as well the back of the flower is facing me because I just slipped then there. Can you see that? That would have been a disaster if I held it the other way round. go on there. But now we have to do our dots. So what we're going to do is get our rich raspberry, get my scrap of paper, and get my splatter dots from Waterfront. And I found that that actually Bits around the flowers. So just No masking in sight. Right, before I put the flower on, I'm going to stick it all down. So, let's stick this down first. Sure, I've got it the right way. Yeah. All right, stick this between our two that wasn't the right way. Must have been. Do it again. And then we'll stick this on. <coughs> and 
even a border top and bottom. Easier said than done. If you don't get it straight first time, there you are. Now with the um, flower, I'm going to put some dimensionals on top of that. Let's see what I've got. Might as well finish these off. to cut it rather than keep ripping it apart. back is off and pop that over the center and then we've got the hello so going to sit just there but on dimensionals This rubbish at the side of me. Sorry about that. That was my daughter. She just woke up from her sleep after doing a night shift and needs to speak to her mummy. Right, I noticed also I hadn't coloured in the middle of my flower, which I did in dark daffodil delight. So I've just Follow that in. I knew there was someone missing. <laughs> and we'll just put some gems on. Just pop three. One, two, three. And I'll never put any on this one. 
So one, two, three. Uh, there's my card. Now I have got a piece for the inside. I'm not going to stick it in like I've done here. It's because I need to write a message on it first and I don't want to stick it down. Write a message, make a mistake. So I write the message and then stick it down. Whatever the message is. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.